Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be kind of continuing on with my collection declutter thing that I did with my eyeshadow palettes and today we are going to be going through all my lip products. So I'm going to be showing you guys everything I have, picking some to declutter. I'm not going to swatch every single one otherwise we will be here all night because I have a ton of lip products. So if you want to see my entire lip collection then just keep watching. Alright, so to start, I'm going to show you guys my MAC lipsticks. I'm going to do the best I can to kind of go in in by or in order by brand. Some of them are all mixed up, so I might miss one or two, but first we'll start with MAC. So the first one I have is the shade Brave Red. I am going to go ahead and keep this one because I, really, I don't really have many... Um, reds in a lipstick formula and I do really enjoy Max Bullet lipstick formula so that one I'll be keeping. Then we have the Miley Cyrus Viva Glam lipstick which is more of like an orangey red. I'm gonna keep this one just for the fact that it is like a collector's piece and I love Miley Cyrus so I'll be holding on to that one. Then we have the shade Velvet Teddy. I absolutely love 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 this color and the formula, I just love it. As you guys can see, I have used it quite a bit, so definitely keeping. Then we have the shade Steady Going, which is this pink. I hate the way this looks on me, so I will be getting rid of it. Then we have the shade Kinda Sexy, and this is another one I really, really love, and I have used quite a bit, so this one is not going anywhere. So I basically just have all my lip products kind of jumbled together, so I'm just going to go by the order of what I grab. So this is the Twinkling Lights, Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collection. This is the lip gloss in the shade Nightlight. I just got this, so obviously not going to get rid of it. Next, we have the shade Rivera. And this is also from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And this is from the Dream Street collection. I don't know if I really love the way this looks on me, but I am going to keep it and give it another go. So I will keep that. I absolutely love ColourPop's liquid lipstick formula. It is one of my favorites. Then we have... Aquarius 2. This is another Kathleen Lights one. Um, the one thing I will say I don't like about the ColourPop packaging is that the writing ends up rubbing completely off. I mean, as you can see, here's what it looks like when there is writing on it. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but now this one is completely rubbed off. So you kind of don't even know like what it is anymore other than the name on the bottom. So I will be keeping this because I do like it. Then we have the Twinkling Lights collection Etuel. This is another lip gloss from the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. I will be keeping this since it is pretty new. Then I have the Pat McGrath Alien Gelic lip gloss. Definitely keeping. I love this stuff. Next I have the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Virgin. I got this because I really wanted to try this combo that Jaclyn Hill had mentioned, which was mixing this and then this co CoverGirl, I think. Covergirl or Maybelline, I'll, you'll end up seeing it later, but I actually really do like this and I like the formula. This is the first Morphe liquid lipstick that I had gotten. I'll just swatch this one for you. The color is really pretty. It's a nude. As you guys can probably see, I love nudes, so I'm definitely keeping this. Next, we have the NARS uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Play Pen. One thing I don't love about this, but I kind of do like, is that... This does not dry down completely matte, so it does always kind of have like that sticky consistency. And this one is more of like a pinky nude, I think. So it's kind of nice that it doesn't dry down, but then sometimes it kind of is annoying that it doesn't dry down 100%. So I think I will still keep this because it's a little bit different of a formula than what I have already in my collection, but it is definitely not like my number one. Next, I have the Dior... Rouge 361 lipstick. I actually wore this on my prom night, so it is definitely pretty old in my collection, but since it has the memory, I will definitely be keeping it. It's not something I wear all the time, but again, the memory attached to it makes me keep it. Next, we have the shade Cheap Thrills. This is another ColourPop one. I think I need to just let this go because it is starting to separate and you know, I can shake it up, but it's very, very, very liquidy, you know, and I don't know how good it is anymore. And it is, it's very purple, 
it's a purple shade. I don't know. I might keep it just because I don't have much like this and see if I can get some more use out of it before throwing it out because it honestly swatched fine. So I'll keep this one. I know I'm not doing very good at decluttering yet. I've only gotten rid of one. Next we have the NYX Lip Lingerie and this one is Corset. I honestly don't know if I really like this formula. I think it's pretty drying from what I remember. That is what the color looks like. The color is very pretty though. But this one's going to be a maybe because I have a couple colors from this type. So I might end up letting some go. This one is the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Lace Detail. So let me compare it next to the other one. So here's Lace Detail and here's Corset. I think I will let go of this one and keep the other one because I just like the color of this one better. Next we have the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fair Game. If you guys watched, this was part of my 12 Pans of Christmas. It's definitely my color type, so I'm going to be holding on to this. I do think that these are starting to get a little more dry than when they were new, so I need to really make a conscious effort to use that up. And then here's another one of those in the shade Rouge, oh no, In Demand. The shade is In Demand. Let's compare it. See, as you can see, like look, look how chunky it's getting on the end. So this one might already be pretty close to being bad. Oh yeah. That feels so dry even compared to the other one. This one feels super dry so I think I'm just gonna let this go. Next we have the shade Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. I really love this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it. Next we have a Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Frickin' Frack. I had bought this as a recommendation from Kathleen and it's a pretty dark it's a pretty dark color. Honestly, it looks darker on the on the swatch than it does in the bottle, but it's definitely different than anything I have, and I don't even know if I've actually ever worn this, so I'll be keeping that. Next, we have the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Aquarius. This is like a nude, like a dark brown nude. That is what it looks like. I'm kind of running out of places to swatch. I will keep this because I only have a couple of this formula. Next, I have another lippy stick in the shade Lumiere. This is another Kathleen one. Here's that. That is the color. Honestly, this is not some like not a color I would wear often, but again, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. It's really hard for me to let go of products because I do buy all, everything pretty much with my own money. So it's really hard to just, you know, get rid of it. That's why you see me holding on to so many things. So next, we have the Smashbox Always On. I don't even know what shade this is because I got this in a Sephora Play box. So let's see how this one feels. This one also feels pretty dry and is definitely more orangey tone, I think, than what I normally wear. I do think I can get some more wear out of it, though, because the other one was super dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold on to that. Then I got this as like a point perk. This is the Tartist Lip Paint. I don't even know what... The sh oh, birthday suit. This is another nude, very similar to products I have. I think I'll go ahead and just let this go because I never reach for it. Then we have an Urban Decay Vice Special Effects. I absolutely hate this stuff. <laughs> like, it's supposed to be like some kind of topper, but it is the most like wet, like slippery thing in the world. I'm getting rid of that. No question. Next, I have a Buxom full-on lipstick. I know that I got this in a kit with the Lip Gloss White Russian. This one is Sydney, and I actually really do like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. I like pairing this under that White Russian lip gloss, which is probably why they sold it as a pair. Next, we have Moon Child, which I believe this is a gloss from Kathleen Lights. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. Next, I have another liquid lipstick from ColourPop called Notion. This is a red. I think, let's see. This is like a very, like very, very deep red. So I think this one is going to go in the maybe pile because I do have a bunch of other reds. So this one is a maybe. 
Next I have the liquid lipstick version of Aquarius. We saw that. We know I like the color so I'm going to keep that. Then we have Aquarius 2. Again, another color that I do like so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. Then we have the shade Dreamy from another Kathleen Lights collection. Gonna go ahead and keep this. I haven't even worn it that much. Then I have the shade Alyssa, also from ColourPop. I don't really reach for this one that often either. This one is more pinky, and I'm not really one to reach for pinks too much, but I will hold on to this. Then we have the shade Magic Wand. So this almost seems like it might be bad, but... That is what that one looks like right here. I think I can probably say it's safe to get rid of this one because just looking at this one compared to some of the others I have swatched here, I definitely have similar colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and part with this one. We got one bin empty. We have the Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Literally. I really like this formula and I'm keeping that. Now we have the ColourPop... Lux liquid or uh, Lux lipstick, I think that's what it's called. I really enjoy this formula and I really like this color, so I'll be keeping that. I also have the shade Scorpio Moon, another one from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. I will be keeping that. Next, I have the Dose of Colors and Desi Desi X Katie Aftermath shade. This one is actually very dark on me, so I don't really reach for it too often, but I do think I need to get more use out of this, so I'll be holding on to that. Then I have this Clinique crimson lip lipstick. I'm just going to go ahead and part with this because I kept the MAC one and I just never reach for this. Then I got this from Maybelline. It's called Taupe Seduction. I have not used this one yet. I just picked it up recently, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. This is the one that I got that Jaclyn Hill recommended to mix with that Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin. This is called Baddest Beige. This was sold out like everywhere. I had to get this on Amazon and I ended up buying this one because I needed to get the dollar amount more to have it be able to ship. So I ended up getting this. I'm going to keep it. The formula is really nice. It's not like a liquid. It's not very matte. Obviously it's not a liquid lipstick. It's not super matte so it's very comfortable to wear. Then I have this Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Naked 2. This is like a very, very pale, pale nude. So I do want to keep this, that way I can pair it with some glosses. Next I have the Dose of Color Desi and Katie shade Hey Girl. Haven't really gotten too much use out of this. As you guys can see, I have a ton of lipstick, so it's hard to get to every single one. I will hold on to that though. Then I have this Buxom Gloss in the shade Dominique. I will be keeping this. Buxom Gloss is one of my favorite formulas. I have another Buxom Gloss. Oh no, this is a lip polish. This is in the shade Sugar. I don't even think I've worn this yet because I got these in a kit, so I'm going to hold on to that. Then I have a Buxom Full On Lip Cream in the shade Rose Juliep, which this is very pink. I haven't even worn this, so let's try to swatch it. Oh, this actually almost feels kind of like a lip gloss formula. That's it right there. I think I'm going to go ahead and just pass this along. Then I have the full on lip cream from Buxom in the shade Mudslide. I don't think I've worn this either. Let's swatch it. That one is more of like a nudie color. It's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that. Then I have the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors Gloss in the shade The Most. I will be keeping this, although it is not my favorite formula now that I have worn it a few times. Definitely not my favorite, but here's the other one in the shade Over the Top. I will be keeping this as well. Then I have this. This is Rimmel, and it's a one of those Katie or Kate. This might be the collab with Kate. I got this so long ago, and I never really wear it, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass it along. Then I have another Buxom product. This is Vava Plump Honey Dew. This must be one of their like lip plumpers. I don't think I've worn this either. That's what it looks like. I'll go ahead and hold on to that. Then I have this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Piranha. I just, I never reach for this and I almost think it's kind of going bad, but let me see. I think it might be okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass this along because I never reach for it. Then I have this YSL, I don't even know what this is called, but I really do like it because it's like a lip oil and it just gives like a slight tint. I love this, so I'm going to definitely hold on to that. Then I have the Kylie Cosmetics 
shots. I think this is from her 21st birthday collection. I believe this is a gloss, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this because I haven't really worn it too much. Then I have the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick. I really like the Sugar Sugar uh, in the regular formula, so I like this version too, so I'll be keeping that. And then here is Sugar Sugar in the regular gloss formula, so keeping that as well. Then we have the Liquid Lip from Desi and Katie from Dose of Colors. This one is my main. I will be holding on to this because I haven't really worn it too much. And this one is the Amov Story one. I have worn this one more and I do really like it. I just don't think that these have the same staying power as some of my others, but I still like it, so I will hold on to it. Alright, we're getting down to... we're getting there. So now I have the Twinkling Lights little star. Um, I haven't even worn this yet because I just got this for Christmas, so I will be keeping that. I will also be keeping the Twinkling Lights Lucky Star lipstick. I haven't worn this yet either. Then I have point zero from ColourPop. It is what I'm wearing in this video, in the intro, in the outro, so you guys will see it on. This is like my favorite liquid lipstick ever. Then I have this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Baby Daddy. I will definitely be keeping this since I really do like his formula. Then I have this Kylie Cosmetics liquid lips or velvet, liquid velvet in the shade Rad. It is a pretty orangey tone. I don't think I've actually worn it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this. Then we have the matte liquid lipstick in the shade Victoria from Kylie Cosmetics. I'll be holding on to that as well. I do like her liquid lipsticks, but they do feel a little drying, so that's the only reason I don't reach for these as much. This one is in the shade Say No More. It's a velvet. Now this is super, super like bubblegum pink, but I did wear it once and I did like it, so I think I'll hold on to it for like fun, colorful looks. Probably I don't think I'd really wear this out. <laughs> Then we have the Velvet in the shade Boy Bye. This is also Kylie Cosmetics. All of these came in like a kit. That's why they're all so small. I will hold on to that. Another one from that kit. This is the shade Boss and it's a matte. I will go ahead and hold on to that. Then also from her 21st birthday collection, we have the shade The After Party. This is matte. And then we have the shade Victoria. And this one is a matte as well. I'm going to hold on to both of these. So I think I'm actually, this one I was saying maybe for, this is the shade Notion. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it because I do have so many reds already. So I'm just going to go ahead and declutter that. Then we have Designer Blood from Jeffree Star, keeping that. We have Mannequin from Jeffree Star, keeping that. I'm keeping all my Jeffree Star ones, so I'm just going to tell you the shades I have. Leo, Rose Matter, Androgyny, Gemini, Posh Spice. Celebrity Skin, Doll Parts, Skin Tight. Here's another Kylie Cosmetics one, and this is the shade Queen. I'll be keeping that. And then lastly, we have all of the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks from his Holiday 2018 collection. I actually have a video where I lip swatch all of these. I will throw it up in the cards and link it below in case you want to see how these look on, since I am not going to go ahead and swatch these. So we have Jeffree Who, Clout, Karma, Hi, How Are Ya? Scandal, Can't Relate, You're Still on the Property, and Triggered. I'm keeping all of these. Again, if you want to see them lip swatched, I will link that video. I am decluttering 11 lip products total. I know that is not very many compared to how many I have in my collection. I will pop up on the screen the number that I have on in my collection, including these, so you guys know an idea. But like I said, it's really hard for me to get rid of products just because I do pay for them myself so I don't want to just get rid of it if I can get use out of it so anyway guys that is it for all of the lip products. Alright guys so that completes today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my lip products and seeing the ones that I decided to declutter if you did enjoy please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future videos and I will see you guys in the next one bye